Hey guys, Balubish here. This is kind of a special day. I have something to show you guys in the development of Star Citizen. Um, this is kind of a new place in the Revlon York hangar. It's a nice place, I guess. Uh, it's super big, if you can see. It's like a mile to that w way. <coughs> so see, let's see what why it is this different. There's the reason. The Starfarer. The hangar is. Or the ship is so big they had to make a bigger hangar for all the uh, bigger ships that's coming. And just to show how small I am compared to this door. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty tiny, yeah. So, compared to the other hangar, you have a computer here. It's the basic, the, it, it's, it's basically the same as you have in the regular one up there in the middle part. And yeah, this is just one leg. So, yeah. The Starfarer is a tanker that can refine and refuel in space, so it's ma basically a self-sufficient to make fuel, and you can sell it, trade it, use it yourself, and you're good to go, basically. Personally, I would say this is the ultimate um, exploring ship. It's a bit big. <laughs> it's four stories high. And, uh, but you have fuel. You don't have to buy fuel on your travels. So as you see back here, we have two um, turrets. We have six of these tanks. I'm not sure which one is which. If these are the collectors and these are the refined fuel or the other way around. I would guess it's the other way around. And back here you have the cargo door. And kind of how you get into the ship. So let's get into the ship and see how it looks. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Almost got crushed. Nice ramp. <coughs> That's thick walls. And this is the cargo bay. You can fit like two ships in here. This massive door. Oh yeah. Well yeah, you can fit a lot of stuff in here. I would guess... It's... The red square thing. I wonder if... If this is a uh, railing for doors. Yeah, it might be. huge I like it this is this is one dream ship I can say that I'm not sure where to go first let's go this way airlock so in these pods you will have 
EVA suits because this ship is so freaking big you basically can uh, have your regular clothes on it I think you can have a crew of seven doing all kinds of work and this is oh I forgot to show you guys but it's below the front of the ship like this docking thing so if you're gonna do like a quick jump out <coughs> you can just go here and get your EVA suit from either side and get out that's about it in here thought it was more and uh, let's go follow this trail here you have extra places if you have like a drifter or somebody gets shot out in space by pirates or whatever you can give them a ride basically kind of neat feature I like gold that's a, the detailing is oh my god the detailing is amazing it really is so let's go, go up here and let's go this way first there's some glitches and stuff but yeah it, it's uh, it just came into the hangar so it, it's fairly new and you can basically go around this whole place up here and imagine if you get attacked up here from uh, people forcing through the um, cargo door you can have people standing up here and just shoot down hopefully destroy them before they get too far and let's continue this way oh okay so this is the access to the fueling pods or, or refining pods as well I would guess because uh, they have all these small computers and stuff oh look it's a gasket even the detailing man the detailing Uh, so I, I would guess you have access whoever works here either NPC or other player uh, can check on each tank how much fuel you have in them um, that's kind of neat feature and basically standing here you're you're in open space imagine working here in the middle of space and apparently you don't need um, like mag boots or something like that because the ship is self-sufficient of gravity so the only thing you need is a spacesuit so you don't die but this is a uh, yeah like the fuel pipes and stuff this thing is huge and on each side you have uh, an elevator this is for fast access to get up or down to the fueling pods it might be an accident something burning or whatever so you need to get them fast enough so let's continue around here I'm kind of lost now went into that door up here no it should be right yeah so all oh, right this is the access panel panel for uh, the cargo so here you probably will be able to 
sort out the cargo if you have something on your next destination that will be uh, traded off or moving the ship hangar um, you will probably be able to move around stuff in here this way and um, what's up over here yeah we came from there okay let, let's keep going this way first okay so this is six escape pods uh, some are closed, some are open, just to show how they look, I guess. And you have some med kits as well. And these things here are supposed to have... If you have a breach on a hole and need to escape, these things should have extra oxygen. And... Oh, they have a survival kit too. So basically you stand in this coffin and get shot out into space if shit would happen and this place everybody understand what it is the cockpit so f if you have seen free la freelancer um, you recognize it because it's the same developer and it's a quite much bigger indeed but you have a seat in the middle here yes it's right it's the captain's seat doesn't work but basically here you sit <coughs> I'm not sure what's happening here you sit looking what your workers are doing or you can just take over yourself and fly, fly this baby <coughs> and have a co-pilot beside you but the windows are fairly big it's kinda tiny but you remember it's not a fighting ship so you don't need a super big cockpit view costs mainly cargo and stuff and if you look outside the window here you see the barrels of the big ass guns I think it's level 4 or size 4 and I think you can actually add size 5 to them <coughs> and these guys probably uh, gonna check on the stats uh, fuel, shield, whatever, power, all the, <coughs> all the important stuff that the captain might need to know. Got some nice buttons and stuff. I'm not sure if it's gonna be able to use these but look really nice touch and details. And Let's go back. So that's the cockpit area and the escape pods for that. And I'm lost again. Oh yeah. And yeah, you have these markers on the floor. Cargo down there maintenance and living quarters so let's go what's this way then doesn't say oh it looks like you can do stuff here too you have a few computers I wonder if some sort of cooler engine let's go to maintenance first So they're implementing like small games in the game. Uh, this is one maintenance area. So these slots will have different parts. It could be power or cooling or whatever. 
and when it breaks you need to change out parts to fix the ship in mid-flight and here we have apparently a few more escape pods um, oh yeah this is an interesting area this is I think the gravity generator and I hope it will sp do sparks and stuff man this is so cool this is so cool oh okay so here you have uh, three EVA suits basically and the fast access out to if I'm not incorrect to the fueling boss. Yeah. I was right. I was right. <coughs> so instead of running all the way we did, we can just run in here, get a uh, EVA suit or the workers having that area and just take an elevator now. And looks like you have a computer here too so you can check on up on the stuff there and let's go this way here you have I think either shield or I would guess the main engine for this whole ship I would guess. I'm not 100% sure. It's huge though. It's like a room itself. Just for the engine. Ah, hiding spot. Somebody is attacking you. And now I'm a bit lost again. I think... Where the hell am I? living quarters what the oh okay here we go um each side here is to access the um, turrets in the back can test them apparently they are supposed to go 180 degrees upside down and you will fire that way and here you ha even have like a small window on each side you can see it over there too uh, to check on the fueling pods and the bridge basically kinda neat oh okay and here we have some more maintenance and escape pods and what's this way? This and that, yeah. This engine and here we have more maintenance. And if you're a maintenance worker, I guess you can crawl through this space instead of walking through the doors and you have a lot of stuff you can switch out what are supposedly broken and just to show you guys how they work on animation if you go close to a ladder it just do it just do it and walk down and as you can see now we are about the cargo space so if you're in a hurry to fix something in this level you can just go up the, the ladder and voila you're in the cargo cargo space I'm not 100% sure where this goes uh, 
Okay. So let's go back down. Check from the other way where that door comes from. And let's get out. And where are we now? <coughs> ah, here we go. Living quarters, living quarters. Okay. You have two way ways in. Oh, okay. So you have two ways in the living quarters. Okay. We have more access panels. Um, access lifts. So you might wonder why you have stairs and an elevator or a ladder. If the power goes out, you will be able to go down stairs anyway. Cause yeah, that might be an issue. And oh yeah, this is just the other side. And what do we have here? Oh, okay. This is... Ladies' bathroom. And... Guys' bathroom. Kind of futuristic toilet and shower. You can basically take a shit and shower at the same time. And it looks like the t toilet is actually retractable. And here you have you have a window, and this is the crew quarter, uh, true uh, crew sleeping area, or living living room basically. Looks like a military camp, but you're working in space. Gotta solve it somehow. Um. <coughs> Oh, okay. This is this was the stairs we found before. Okay, and this is the kitchen. You have garbage, I guess, and uh, coffee and microwave. Who knows what it is? Kind of neat looking. Big kitchen table and stuff. And this is the captain's room. Yes, as an owner of this ship, you have your own captain's quarters uh, with your own computers. Look over the ship. And another one here. And your own office chair. Yes, yes, yes. Captain, should we attack? Yes, kill them all. And this is your own. You got a bigger window. Plus, owner. A really nice looking <laughs> uh, bed, I guess. <laughs> and your own shower, toilet, and that. And you might probably wonder why do you have shower and stuff, but. Actually, they are implementing, say if you haven't showered for a couple of weeks in-game, the NPCs and stuff will give you like snarky, co uh, snarky comments and stuff. And this looks like, I would guess this is um, up to the top turret. Oh, that's pretty neat. If you ha are in living quarters, you can uh, stack it fast if you're getting attacked. That's kind of neat. And yeah, let's get 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 down again. I want to test something in the cockpit seat. If we can find it. Should be down once there. And is it this way? It is. Ok. 
can we get view from outside? Whoop. Oh yeah. So here we have a nice view. Can you see myself? No? Yeah, I'm sitting in the coffee seat. It's a small dot. It kind of shows how big as this ship is. When you look at it this way, it looks small, but it's actually humongous. And you have massive thrusters. You see those oval kind of shaped ones on the side. I have one under the wing here. And you have three main engines, two on each side and one in the middle. And yeah. This will be the first ship I will get in game because it's huge. It really is huge. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video of the Misk Starfarer. I know I enjoyed it. Um, and this, as you can see, the hangar is huge. And this is not even the biggest ship yet. I think th this one is 90, 90 meters long. And the biggest ship they have so far said uh, is the javelin I think it's 345 meters long that's a capital ship though but yeah and this is like a small level inside it kind of shows how huge it is so hope you enjoyed the video see you next time guys